So this is the reciprocal front body sternum stretch. I also call it a uh, washing the floor. Um, so we're gonna come to, we're gonna be in dorsiflexion if you can tolerate that. If you can't, plantar flexion is fine. It's just if you refer to Philip Beach, uh, the osteopath from New Zealand, he talks about how dorsiflexion is sort of a ready stance, helps to scaffold the structure, helps you to sort of be strong and connected before you start moving and doing all sorts of things. So I like to find that base in that dorsiflexion. And my hands are going to come approximately, approximately under my shoulders, maybe a little bit forward of that, just so you see this. And I'm shoulder width with the hands. We're gonna imagine that the hands are on a sort of a track going straight forward from me, okay? So when they start moving, they're going to move like they're on two rails that are shoulder width apart the entire time. As I do this, it is about tracking it to the weight shift in the base. So first you're going to, I'm gonna have you shift into that right knee, let your heart turn to the left a bit, let it shift into the left knee, let your heart turn to the right a bit. Just sort of getting used to this motion. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can have fingertips softly on the sternum. Just feeling this relationship of when I'm in my right knee, I soften sternum and I roll to the left. When I'm in left knee, I soften sternum and I roll to the right. Okay, now we're gonna have hands in front, hands approximately under the shoulders. We're gonna be, I'll probably be sitting back just a little bit over my, little bit over my heels. So my greater trochanter isn't vertical for this one, vertically over my knee. It's just tilted back just slightly. And I'm gonna do that same shift right to left to right to left. As I shift into the right now, I want you to shift into the right and let the hand wash the floor turning the heart away, not letting the hand go out, not letting the hand go in. Have the hand go in a straight line like it were shooting out of the knee along the line of the shoulder. We come back center and coming out long as we shift to the left. Left hand comes out long, right hand comes in, and we come back center. If you don't have sliders for this, totally fine. What I really like to do is sort of that, that Tarzan hand again. I think of it at the, the ball of the, how we have the ball of the foot. I like to think of the ball of the hand here. It's that head of the fourth finger. So let the heels of the palms come up. Let the fingers even be a little bit up off the ground. And then it's much easier to slide on your hands no matter the surface, okay? So as we shift into the right knee, we're gonna come long and straight. Inhale, center, exhaling. I come center, little tuck of the tail. I shift into the right knee as my heart turns away to the left. I inhale center, little tuck of the tail. I exhale, shifting into left knee. Left arm comes long, looking to the right. Inhaling center and exhaling. Inhaling center and exhaling. This will be easier if you're doing it back over the heels. It becomes a little more difficult the further forward your pelvis comes over your knees. There's gonna be a little more weight bearing in the balls of the hands. This is a great exercise to basically to turn away, which helps us to support in the shoulder girdle to be able to open our chest up and away to get that extraversion that's that front body spiral line. So we're getting extraversion in the weighted arm, extraversion in the weighted arm. And that is our reciprocal front body sternum spiral stretch washing the floor.